Today I want to take a few minutes and talk to you about us as a church plant. And there's one area I want to uh, sort of throw out an encouragement and throw out an exhortation to you as well. And I want to do that by talking about, by using this illustration. If I invited you to our house for dinner, to Tammy and I said we want you to come over to dinner one night, and you said, sure, we'll do that, and you plan to come. So the night arrives for you to come to dinner. You and your family get dressed. You spend time getting ready. You happily jump in your car, make the drive over to our home, and you get out of the car, come to our front door, knock on the door, and no one's coming to the door. You knock again, and then someone finally comes to the door, and you recognize, wait a minute, they don't look like they're ready for us. We don't have dinner cooked. We're all in our pajamas. We're kind of just laying around, lounging around, and all of a sudden we invite you, we tell you to come on inside and have a seat. And we said, Oh, yeah, we forgot about you were coming, but we'll just throw something together and we, you know, whip out some peanut butter and jelly and all these kind of things and, it, and we uh, celebrate together. Well, I know what would be going through your mind. I know what would be going through my mind. Did they not remember that we were coming? Did they not care that we were coming? You would feel. And I know all of you would feel, you know, multiple feelings, but the, the, the thing that I want to convey in that is, is that we were not putting forth effort to make you feel welcomed or feel loved or cared for. We kind of just took it for granted. And I want to say that to us as a church. Do we take for granted what opportunities that God has given to us as a church plan? As a church plant, we have to see our mission. If we want others to see the glories of Jesus Christ, we need to make sure that everything that we do is done in a way that honors Jesus and glorifies Him. And one way that we do that is declaring the excellencies of Jesus Christ. As 1 Peter chapter 2 says, we are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, so that we may proclaim the excellencies of Christ. And one of the ways we can do that on a practical level, yes, is preach the gospel, yes, is to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And to make sure our ministries at Grace are done in a way that have others in mind and the glory of God in mind. Now, one way that we can do this, one way that we can make sure that we are intentionally thinking about the community, intentionally thinking about how to minister to those who visit and attend our church, is to say, do we have a ministry, a greeting ministry, a ministry where we shake someone's hand hand them a bulletin, make sure they understand who we are as a church, get them a connect card. Even standing at the back door of the church, once the service has gotten started, making sure no late comers are coming in and need a place to sit, how we can minister to them in that way. Listen, Grace Bible Church, I know many of you have done this over the years, and I want to challenge us as a church. We need a ministry that is organized, that gets all of us involved, in a ministry of greeting and you know helping visitors and others feel welcomed at grace so here's the challenge if we want others to know they are loved and cared for i challenge us as a church to put together a ministry that does those very things that organizes our church to have greeters at the door have people ready to serve those who are visiting so grace bible church as a member of this church as your pastor as your friend I want to challenge us to make sure that we are demonstrating the excellences of Christ by making sure all of our ministry is done in such a way that others feel significant and welcomed in our body. So Grace Bible Church, this is the encouragement for today, and I pray this makes sense, and I pray this hits home for all of us, and I'm encouraged to see what the Holy Spirit is going to do in developing this kind of ministry in our church. All right, we'll see you Sunday. God bless.